the teaser trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness just dropped, and it was featured at the end of the Spider-Man No Way Home film. As far as I'm aware, I have not gone to see Spider-Man yet, and I would like to, but I've not done it yet. But I knew about it, because I read the internet, right? So, I am shooketh. I watched it, and I am so unbelievably excited. Honestly, I really have not cared about any of the other Marvel projects that have not involved Wanda or Scarlet Witch, mostly because, of course, Wanda's my favorite character, and I think is by far one of the most interesting characters in the entire Marvel Universe, and I'm really excited that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is starting to do this character justice through WandaVision, but now in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So just to analyze a little bit um, the teaser trailer, mind you, um, you don't if you don't want spoilers for Spider-Man No Way Home, you might want to click away right now because I'm about to discuss something about related to that. So Doctor Strange initiates a spell to change uh, or to like inhibit Spider-Man's identity or people's acknowledgement of his identity and it goes awry, causing a tear or causing the multiverse to kind of collapse of sorts. And this teaser trailer shows us that, like, things are desperate. Doctor Strange is seeking out Wanda to help with this. And we also see America Chavez in this teaser trailer, so on and so forth, whose ability is to travel between different multiverses, or at least one of her abilities. So the teaser trailer, of course, was just a smattering of images. It wasn't, like, very extensive. But my big theory is that Wanda is not going to be the big bad in this. Doctor Strange himself, or a variant of his, is going to be the big bad. If you watch the trailer, you'll see what I'm talking about toward the end, because Doctor Strange is going to realize that he is kind of like his own worst enemy, because there are variants out there of him that are far more terrifying, right? Whereas, the reason why I think Wanda is going to be helpful is because if memory serves me correctly, since she's a Nexus being, only one of her exists in the multiverse. If memory serves, please, Marvel people, correct me if I'm wrong. But that means that she might be able to be the only one who can actually stand up to evil Doctor Strange. So I'm very interested to see what happens. I am really excited. I think this is going to be a very monumental Marvel film, not to mention it's going to have some like horror-esque elements, which I think are going to be very refreshing for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, because let's be honest, we've had so many films over the past few years that we need something to shake things up just a little bit. All right. Anyway, share your thoughts in the comments below if you watch the trailer um, and let me know what you're looking forward to. Do you have any theories as well? Share those with me and have a good rest of your day. Bye.